Hello my sacred queens, thank you so much for tuning in for another tiny testimony. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Maggie, where I come and give a daily dose of inspiration, devotional, encouragement, all that good stuff. So if that's something you may be interested in, I would love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button so that you never miss another upload. So today's tiny testimony is coming out of, yes, my one of my all-time favorite um, daily devotionals, and that is Jesus Calling, enjoying peace in his presence. And I really, really love this devotional, guys. It's just gives little little inserts that are just so very powerful so let's go ahead and see what God is speaking of today okay because it says I the creator of the universe am with you and for you when you feel some lack it is because you are not connecting with me at a deep level I offer abundant life your part is to trust me refusing to worry about anything it is not so much adverse events that make you anxious anxious as it is your thoughts about those events. Wow. Your mind engages in efforts to take control of a situation to bring about the result of your desire. Your thoughts close in on the problem like ravenous wolves determined to make things go your way. Is that not the truth or what? Determined to make things go your way. You forget that I am in charge of your life. Guys, this is Jesus talking to us. You forget that I am in charge of your life. The only remedy is to switch your focus from the problem to my presence. Stop all your striving and watch to see what I will do. I am the Lord. Wow. <laughs> Guys, if that wasn't so powerful and just simply a great reminder, uh, I don't know what is. Sometimes we do get so focused in on the problem. Like you said, it's not the event or the, you know, the circumstance itself. It's our thoughts magnifying or making the problem, you know, 10 times worse or really zooming in on the problem, making it 10 times worse than what it really is. And yes, that can mean anything. And God is saying to literally fix your problem to cast your cares onto him and he will literally take care of everything because he offers abundant life so anything we could ever want anything we can ever desire God has made a promise that it can be ours if we refuse to worry about anything but him wow I am the creator of the universe and I am with you and for you I think that very first sentence is just enough in itself I am with you God is with us and he He's for us. He created us to be there for. If that makes sense, he created us. He needs something to take care of, right? He needs some blessing to, you know, something to do, which is bless us and to teach us and to guide us. That is literally his main goal. That's his main job, you know, as our Heavenly Father. And he wants us to really, really tap back into that and to really relinquish our problems unto him. And I love that. And of course, we have a reference scripture, which is out of Romans. And I have it right here. And it says in Romans 8.30. 31, 32. What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Guys, and that is a really popular scripture actually. And um, we should really try to memorize that because again, if God is for us, who can be against us? Nobody, right? And the last reference is in Micah 7, 7. And it says, therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. I will wait for the God of my salvation, right? The Lord that we honor and that we serve and knowledge right I will wait on my God for my salvation my God will hear me God God hears us he hears every single cry he hears every single problem he hears every single um, praise and acknowledgement and thanks like that our Lord will hear us he hears our cries guys and the sooner that we literally accept that and we um, turn our nose to his promise you know and his dedication to us and, and really learn about the God that he is yes that scripture in Romans who can be uh, for us if God before us, who can be against us would hit so much home harder, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I really hope that um, was very powerful. Sorry, we have to cut it a little short today. I hear mama fussing a little bit. So again, I really hope this was powerful. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you in another video.